Hi, welcome back to my channel, Cosmic Insight Astrology. I am your co-pilot, Christina. Today I'm here with the Capricorn, Capricorn full moon, and we're going to analyze that together. And we will see what kind of opportunities or what kind of challenges we will have with this full moon. Uh, as you can see, the full moon going to happen in Capricorn, and it's going to happen in 11 degrees and about 18, 19 minutes. So the full moon, I always mention that, when the moon and the sun across each other's in heaven, all right? And also the full moon is always an ending, a completion, signing of contract in our life. It doesn't necessarily has to be a bad ending. Uh, and, you know, I don't see your chart, your personal nature chart. So I don't really know what kind of aspect uh, do you have it with nature planets and how is it, how will it uh, work out for you? However, in general, in mundane perspective, I'm going to talk about this full moon. All right. So first of all, when we are uh, analyzing the full moon, we're going to check the degree. 11 degree Capricorn, is it an erratic degree? No, it's not. However, it's in the second um, uh, deacon. So actually it's representing and it's bringing in a Taurian energy because Capricorn is an earth sign and the second deacon, the second earth sign from Capricorn is Taurus. Taurus ruled by Venus. It rules the second house. Uh, Venus actually is already in shadow retrograde period in Leo, and it will turn retrograde this month. I'm going to do an individual video about that as well. So we're going to check Venus as well, and Capricorn rules the 10th house. It rules honor, it rules political party, politicians, it rules recognition or career in life, and, you know, it's ruled by Saturn, as above, so below. Saturn has a lot of really great tendencies and energies, but Saturn also associated with delays, with fears, with censorship, with death, anxiety. No, no not anxiety, but with fear for sure. Coldness, because Saturn is a cold planet. And also, and darkness as well. Uh, and also, it is ambition. It rules the career house. Uh, it is uh, also honor, because if you work hard, if you are diligent, like Saturn is a very diligent uh, um, planet and associated with, uh, with that kind of tendency, then you are capable to bring on whatever you want. Work hard and it will give you a gift. However, it's a completion, as I said, it's an ending. So let's see what kind of aspect it will create this full moon. So let's check first of all Saturn. Okay, so where is Saturn? Saturn is over here in Pisces and it went retrograde. So it's going back all the way to the one degree in Pisces. So the malefic tendency of Saturn is not that um, strong at this moment. So uh, it's weakens when it's going back in retrograde. So that's good. Uh, and then we have to check also Capricorn, what other planet is in Capricorn. And as we know, Pluto went back retrograde and dipped in June 11th back into Capricorn until 2024 January when it's going to go back to Aquarius again. So right now, I feel like it is something happening with the power, the centralized power again, with banking system. So uh, the shadow government or, or anyone who is in power and doesn't want to lose it, doesn't want to give it to, to the... Uh, to, to the collective, to humanity, to the people, but actually Aquarius associated with, uh, those people going to try to get their last kick actually at this moment. So try to get all the power together to keep it. 
uh, and it won't happen, I have to tell you. So within two years, everything is changing, but but right now we can feel something through of government, something like uh, a lot of dictatorship could uh, come, we could uh, socialism, uh, communism, dictatorism. So centralized power uh, will actually get magnified during these seven months. So on the other hand, the moon is your feeling. It's also the public, it's your emotions, it's your subconscious. In Capricorn, it doesn't do well because actually the moon rules cancer and um, it's it's in rulership and it's capricorn it's in four so it's really really suffering over here it cannot show emotions because capricorn is strong it could be cold and you know like really um really um kind of re like like hold on to that kind of capacity they can be very cold-hearted and and going uh, and just only making decision with head and nothing uh, with heart or through emotions so yes definitely it's sinful and it's suffering right now but the aspect what it makes it does make as opposition with mercury and it does make a trine with jupiter first i'm going to talk about the opposition with mercury as you can see mercury and sun Two days before had a Kazimi. And it was, you know, like conjuncted. So it's combust, but Kazimi, the heart of the sun, the sun is huge and the lights are really, really overwhelming and overpowering. So the combust is not necessarily good because Mercury cannot speak. It's not heard. But ever want to express, it's get lost because the sun is bigger than life. But Kazimi, it's only seven minutes away. And that actually a very, very amazing aspect in astrology. It's success, it's fame, it's, it's, um, it's a benefit. It's really, really nice. Uh, I only know right now out of my uh, heart like um, Oprah has Kazemi, Mercury Kazemi actually in her chart and I think it's in her fifth house so you know communication being a, a, a host all the time in, in, in a show but she created all right so let's move forward so but but you know this uh, moon is actually opposing Mercury right now and it's in fall so we are not hurt or feelings are doesn't matter. Doesn't matter for who? Doesn't matter for authority because Capricorn is authority. So for example, uh, just imagine if you have a court case or if you, you have any kind of other issues where you have someone like a father figure, your, your, your words are not heard. You are speaking, but you know, it's not hurt. Or you might going to get censored because of you are on social media, you have a YouTube channel, you created a podcast, podcast, uh, anything like that. And uh, Capricorn, it's censoring you, centralized power and censoring you. So we can actually have that kind of energy during this Capricorn full moon, right? Uh, all right. And right now, Mercury is still combust, but not in Kazemi anymore. So it's moved forward 17 degrees, did it? Yes, it did. So right now, it's not that beneficial, and especially when it's opposing Mercury uh, it, in Cancer. Mercury in Cancer, it's a really soft talker. It's a really nurturing talker. It doesn't have a lot of strength. It doesn't have a lot of assertive energy. So that's why most likely uh, we are soft and, and we want to stay nurturing and that's why we are not heard. Um, so, all right, let me see. When Mercury is going to go to Leo, it's obviously going to be totally different. Leo is seen, Leo is heard. Um, but at this moment, this is the aspect. And then let's see, because of the moon is also going to make a trine with Jupiter. Uh, Jupiter is in nine degrees, actually, and it's in Taurus. So it's making a pretty uh, tight uh, uh, trine. Trine is always a really beneficial energy in astrology. It is 
a Jupiterian flavor. It's a blessing, generosity, abundance. Jupiter itself, the planet that is trining with, so it could be ending Taurus. So it could mean like, all right, maybe my voice are not heard. The way I'm expressing myself, it's not seen. But I want to get nurtured and connected with nature somehow because of Jupiter in Taurus is nature. And, um, and also uh, Taurus ruled by Venus as well. And, uh, and it's representing like, um, and because of this Capricorn uh, moon, full moon has a Taurian flavor, as I said before, um, it's very important Jupiter is in Taurus. So it means like self-love. Okay, right now I cannot uh, bring it to the attention of authority, what is my feelings, or I want to be heard, or I want to be seen, but I still can nurture myself. I can still do something comforting myself to, to, to make myself stronger. So strength is very important in this case, and that's what we will actually gain, strength. So it's okay to retreat. It's okay to get connected right now with, with the earth. It's okay not to be on social media or get censored somehow because of, you know, later on you will be still capable to, to bring it whatever you wanted to express. But right now it's just asking you to take care of yourself. Uh, abundance could uh, come from uh, enjoying uh, the nature, go to the beach, get connected, get barefoot, you know, in nature, uh, you know, get in the, you know, just, just do some hiking, get to the wood. It's beautiful. And, and definitely censorship actually could be like you are willing to give it up on your own. You are willing to unplug. And actually, I know a lot of people who are doing their work ahead, like three, four months, especially if you are lucky to work at home and you have home-based office, and they are doing their work, um, everything ahead. So during the summertime, they unplugged, unplugged from, from society, from from uh, internet, from, from media, and everything what is actually really good to to have the information but also poisoning your soul and mind and and actually manipulate you so they are the people who are and it could be willingly giving up so if you have a good aspect in nature probably you are the one who is willingly giving up and and you are not censored but you don't want to get connected you don't want to listen politics anymore because you have enough and you feel like anyway you cannot make a change and i just going to get into nature get my strength get connected with the universe you know and and then later on i will return but when i will return i going to be abundant why because you're gonna have more strength bull Jupiter is a bull, I mean, uh, Taurus is a bull, and Jupiter over there, it's expanding the strength of the bull in us, and um, and then we check Venus, right, and Venus is already in shadow retrograde, so what's going to happen over here with shadow retrograde and, and going in retrograde? Uh, Venus also retreats, you know, like, like it is like, all right, um, I don't want to shine as I shine before, uh, I want to collect whatever comes to my way. So if it's going to be an opportunity over there uh, to, to, I don't know, do something with gardening or design, then I will take it. But probably it's coming from the past. It's nothing new over here. Um, so yes, that is the, the full moon. And let's, let's see what is. So we were talking about Saturn. We were talking about Pluto, the change, because of it's in the same sign, Mercury. Mercury is, you know, like anything with, with vehicles, with communication. So some of you going to, to have problem with your vehicle or with your communication devices. Some of you going to need to actually uh, buy a new computer, a new phone, a new vehicle. That's, you know, simple as it is. And, uh, and you know, some of you doesn't want to drive because of maybe the children are home. So you don't have to uh, hurry all the time with, you know, wake up early morning and get into the car and wait into the car. So that could mean 
uh, very, very simple things in life. You know, I'm just trying to brainstorm what else can it mean, but obviously that's what it is. And during this full moon, check Venus and Mars also. So because of, I'm going to talk about Mars as well. And I'm only going to talk about that because it's conjunct actually with Venus here during this uh, full moon. And because of the full moon is influenced that with the Taurian favor of second decan. And because of its trans Jupiter, which is actually in Taurus, which is ruled by Venus. So we have to check Mars as well. So that is obviously over here, giving a little bit of extra spice. So maybe you are, or we are going to feel like um, more um, sensual or more uh, attractive during this time. Uh, or, you know, Mars could give you actually an urge to change something, which is actually about your garden. A lot of people are going to start to gardening or going back to gardening uh, or, or, you know, like it could create like, all right, uh, Mars is fire. I want to actually uh, like renovate my kitchen. And it was always in my mind, or maybe I started a long time ago, but the project fell through somehow. And right now I'm capable to bring it on because Venus going retro and Mars is there, so something with fire as well. Uh, okay, so you know, and and what I have to say over here, this is emotions and this is a public matter. Whenever Moon is involved, uh, the lunation um, and in Capricorn and Pluto went back to Capricorn also. It could indicate issues with with volcanoes and volcano eruptions as well. And, um, you know, Saturn is in retrograde in Pisces. Uh, Saturn in retrograde in Pisces could be something water, underwater. Saturn is an iron, so that is the submarine that was, you know, they died in it. But remember, I made video a year ago. Actually, it was more than eight months ago. Um, and I uh, made a video about uh, the big change the next 10 years. And also I made another video about Saturn in Pisces. Both of my videos says there are going to be multiple incidents with submarines. I didn't necessarily connect it with they're going to go down to the Titanic and, you know, and, and do whatever they have done. But I am, I am, concerned they're going to start some kind of uh, war underwater that we are not seeing. And, you know, there was actually an issue with the Russian submarine also because that got actually disappeared and it's still not. And nobody talks about that. Just check out. Check it out. So, yes, there is going to be multiple more issue with that. So this full moon, Mercury, it's a vehicle, any kind of vehicle, right? Um and then because of Saturn in uh, Pisces, and look at that, it's actually Saturn retrograde is trining with with the the Sun and uh, Mercury combust, right? So yes, something with water, something with, but actually the trine is going to be more like. Um, like they are capable to clean up the water or they are capable to the ocean, I meant by that. Or maybe they're going to have a lot of animals beached somehow and they are saving most of them. So it is mostly a beneficial uh, aspect over here, I would say. So we don't have to consider about this. But definitely Pluto could be because of uh, it's underwater, uh, because of it's ruled by Saturn Capricorn. So it could be an underwater volcano eruption, which could actually create tsunamis. So that's what we can actually experience. And probably it's going to fall out in the next uh, three weeks, uh, four weeks after the full moon. Um, all right. So that's what I wanted to share with you. Let me see if it's any six stars involved. Um, all right. Where Pisces is going back to Archangel Gabriel to the uh, royal fixed star soon, but it's, you know, like it's three degrees away. So because if it's a fixed star, it we only consider one degree. So we are not going to consider that. So no. 
you know, Mars still far away from from uh, Regulus. Regulus moved already in in Virgo, so it's still not so. Okay, so not really anything what is considering to be, and you know, Uranus still far away from our goal. So all right, okay. So that's what I wanted to tell you guys. I'm going to talk to you soon. I will be back with the August without. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, I have to post the July first, and I'm gonna post it today. Thank you so much for your attention and see you soon. Bye for now.